Hello fellow bike people! It's been a while since I've made a video and I think this is a good reason to get back into making them. Tomorrow is June 10th, which is Safe Summerside's first group ride of the year. It was actually supposed to be last weekend but it got rained out so this is it. This is the first group ride of the year on Prince Edward Island, well, for Summerside and for me and Brianna at least. So we're really excited. You can see behind me I've got a collection of tools and random parts. That is because after the ride, we're stopping by the free store and we're going to do some free tune-ups for people around Summerside. So I'm going to have to figure out how to pack all of this tonight because we've got spare wheels and tires, we've got the work stand, we've got a bag of tools, we've got my pump over there, we've got a box of random spare parts, and ideally two bikes that I want to bring. That's the one I plan to ride, and that's actually a really nice bike. That one was intended to go to a Community Connections client, but he wanted something with a bit more off-road capacity, so we hooked him up with a nice mountain bike instead. This thing, I'm going to ride it for the ride tomorrow, and then I'm going to donate it to somebody at the repairs event. This one is just for donation, and it's small, so I'm hoping we can fit it in there, but you've seen how big Brianna's Kia is. It's a Rio. It's tiny. It doesn't have much space. I may be able to fit this in there with all the other stuff and Brianna's bike, but chances are slim. We're gonna see. Well, this is Safe Summerside's first ride for the year. They have done rides in the past. That's actually how I found Safe Summerside in the first place, is they were riding in the Santa Claus Parade, and I stepped out into the road and I was like, my people! It was a great experience. But uh, yeah, so they've had uh, some group rides, but this is the first one this year. And then the repairs event, we have done that in the past. We did one in uh, April, and it was a really big hit. There's been requests for more of that, so we're making it a monthly thing for the repairs, and then ideally a weekly thing for the rides. So basically every Saturday, 10 a.m., you can find us uh, in Summerside. We're going to be doing like group rides. Uh, Safe Summerside's hosting those, and then Free Store is hosting Safe Summerside for. The repairs events that's going to be the second Saturday of every month starting tomorrow June 10th. Well we made it got everything packed up back there except for the BMX bike which I'm sad I can't bring that thing but whatever. We got our bikes got all the equipment in the back and Brianna's driving. There we go. We have reached the end of the Baywalk. And we ran into Mary Helen. This is Brianna's grandmother. <laughs> Guess what? You're on YouTube now. Okay, that's good. <laughs> that's all. <laughs> You sure? You sure you, you sure you don't want to go down? I'm good. <laughs> Seems like an easy enough climb for you. I don't know about that. It's a little sketchy. <laughs> the allergy factor here is freaky. It's kind of cool. Oh yeah. Let's see if this one goes. 
is a cool. It's like standing on a sandbar out in the middle of the ocean. Okay, not in the middle, but still, I like this. This is cool. Look what we found, guys. That was just sitting in the marshes there. So. Yeah, nice. So Xavier's actually helping us out with the repairs, so he's gonna bring this over and we're gonna hopefully use that to fix someone else's bike. Having the kids decorate the van for this, using that as a giant poster. I like it. Ah, cool! I like the disco ball. That's cool. Nice. And I like the arrows she, for the road the one part one going. The Very I, organized. I don't Well, that was a great success. It was a little slower on the repair side than I wanted, like definitely slower than last time we did one of these events. So we actually ended up packing up a little early and we're grabbing ourselves some Wendy's now. Yes, need my JBCs. So something Brianna actually just pointed out is that accidentally turned into the PEI homeschoolers ride because yeah, I was homeschooled back in Mississauga, but the kids there, yeah, they were my understanding, all homeschooled. Like, yeah, that's awesome. Like, I mean, that might just appeal to me more than your average person because I was homeschooled, but it really appeals to me. I think that's cool. Just adding some island comedy here. The hearse, they sell used body parts. <laughs> I think the skeleton makes it a lot better. <laughs> So we're back, and I gotta say, that was actually a really good event. It was a little small because it was the first one of the year and the weather wasn't amazing, but still, it was a ton of fun, and the repairs bit afterwards, that's always great. Again, it wasn't quite as busy as last time we did it, but still pretty good. We had a decent turnout, fixed a bunch of bikes, gave a few away, it was a great time. And this fleet of bikes behind me, this is the next donation collection. Because that's the big thing that happens whenever we show up at the free store and do the repairs, is all of a sudden everybody wants a bike. So these are ones that I've been piling up over the last little while. Got a bunch of adult bikes, a bunch of kids bikes. Those are gonna go to, pardon the motorcycle noise, those are gonna go to Summerside Locals. That's awesome. So wrapping up the video, I gotta say, the ride itself was great, but the big highlight of today was at the repairs event there was just this hanging out vibe that was really good. It's not something you get just showing up somewhere for a bike ride. Like it's the kind of thing where everybody gets to know each other really well and just hangs out and has stuff to talk about. And personally, I really liked when the two boys that were with us decided to take a piece of wood, make themselves a little ramp and start jumping. Of course, you know, I encourage that type of thing. Like as long as the parents don't outright say no, I'm going to encourage some like aggressive riding because that's fun. And then Brianna and Jen's daughter actually had a great time hanging out, like making flower crowns for each other and everything. So really wholesome moments and great time. I'm really looking forward to more of these rides and repair events in the future.